Well, we hadn't done an update video on the house for a while, so I figured I have a job interview today. Might as well do one, because that could mean that work on the house is going to stop. What do you think, Raj? Raj doesn't care. Hey, man. Doesn't care. Well, let's start here in the kitchen. Nothing's really changed over there, but over here we've begun the process of resurfacing the cabinets. Um, you can see Jen already did the island here, and we just used poly shades, which is the polyurethane stain all in one, and it looks good. So now we're going to start the rest of the kitchen, and you'll see a little bit more about that soon. Uh, another nice little project I did was these LED lights, under counter lights. We got them at Ikea for 30 bucks, and you can kind of see, they're just real light little guys. Um, let's go in here, this is where we were sleeping, now there's nothing in here anymore but you can see the chairs from the dining room set that I got. Here's everything left that's not unpacked in the formal living room. Uh, the bathroom in here, this was the test case for the, the poly shades, and we learned some things. We learned that the tape wicks up the poly shades, so I don't know if you can see it in this video, but it's all over the wall too, so we have to do some touch-up repainting. That's no big deal. The office, here's the dining room table, which is now my desk. Of course, we were sorting out all our paperwork from buying the house and stuff, so it's busy now. Here's the rack mount going in the closet. Um, this rack is for the the NAS server, which is sitting on top, and then the other racks are, you know, the this blade here is still my home HDA, um, and then we have a new blade coming in for the Minecraft server. My TV, no speakers up yet. All right, the living room is really where we're spending all our time now my great display, lightsabers and swords, the exercise bike, Rigel's thing there, all right, turtle, all right, there's the doggy door, I don't think that was in the last video, so Michael and Stephanie gave us a set of lights, so we put those up here, but we're actually going to put in a permanent fan over that. Here's the first fountain. That fountain over there is now working. I just have it shut off because I haven't put the new timer on it. And then there's this guy. And you can see he has a leak in the air pump. But God, that leak is really bad. We left it running because it's supposed to be getting hot. But there you go. Hot tub. You can see this thing, it's, man, I really, need, we need to finish it now, and we, I'm a little worried about the water sitting on the ground, so I may lift it up, and when we paint it, do the bottom too, because it can just come straight up. But it's got the bar here, which we're actually going to angle the corners. It's got these guys here, and you can see the wires across, so this thing is stable as anything, you know, it, it doesn't go anywhere with those wires, they're super tense, and those bolts go all the way through. Um, you can see it has a, a cutout over there for the power lines. And then here's the interesting thing. I'm stepping on this nasty business with bare feet, so if I shout out. Here's these two guys here, which hinge out like this. And the idea here is you take the cover and just go straight out like that. So then when you're in here, first of all, that thing's not sitting on the ground anymore. Boom. So if you're in the hot tub, you can put your drinks on the bar here, and we're going to get a couple stools, put them here so you could sit and eat and have snacks or something. You can put them up there. Uh, we're going to put a little, just a, a little loop on the inside so you can actually pull that thing through. But now that thing's not sitting on the ground. It's easy to pull in from inside the hot tub. We're going to paint this thing white. You can see the little tops, Dad, that I did with the belt sander. You see them there? And those match the tops of that guy. And we're gonna, we think, either do this white or red, and we think we may actually paint the hot tub when we do it. These guys here, they're not bolted in to the, to the thing because their purpose is the weight of that thing could tilt the whole unit, and so that prevents it from tilting. It just applies a little pressure. And I had them sitting around, so who cares? 
So we're really excited. Like you said, we're going to put lights up there. We may bring the clock over and put that on the inside. Um, the next thing is I'm going to make a set of stairs, but this is the, the unit where you, you get in to do maintenance on it. So the stairs have to be able to move. And my thought is I'm going to put some of those spring stairs so it can wheel away and then any weight on it brings it back. So that's not done yet. Um, yeah, I mean, we're super excited with the way this turned out. You know, we, we uh, haven't gotten in since we got back because I've been doing all the work on it, but you know, it turned out perfectly. It turned out exactly as I designed it. You can see it's super easy now to just put the cover on and off. I have to make something to make those guys go in, you know, like a spring or something, but until then, who cares? And it's all done. So I'm pretty excited about that. I think that project was very successful. We thought about putting anchors in the ground like this, but instead I just built it on a pad of two by fours. And if those ever rotted or something, we could always switch to these guys, no problem. So pretty cool though. A lot of very accurate math to make that thing work out, especially those two hinges in the back. But I'm pretty proud of this. This makes life a lot easier when we come out here. We don't have to put chairs everywhere. We can just put the towels on here now. So it's pretty good. All right. Oh, you're about to see something fun. That's the main purpose of this fountain these days. It's all mucky and I want to put an algae eater in there to keep it clean. But it's mostly Rigel drinking water. He doesn't like this doggy door. I mean, he uses it just fine. But here's the problem. And I like this design when we bought it, but it has an interior, it has an exterior door and an interior door. It's got a pretty big little gap there in between it. So it's like a tunnel. So Xavier won't use it when he comes over to visit, but. Rigel, no, here, come in. Let's see. It's kind of a little tunnel for him. He uses it, but he doesn't like it. Um, if the door is open, he'll use that. I think the carpet was in the last video. I don't exactly remember. But let me go up and look. Our bedroom is a disaster. Right, Rigel? Rigel likes to sit here and look out. So our bedroom is a total disaster right now. This supposed to cover that but it fell off and we haven't got the ladder to put it back up yet. Roger what's here? Come here. Come here. See that's pretty great for him. So all of the shutters in this house were not cut to the right length. So what we did was we tied this off at the point where it needs to be at the top so these aren't tangled anymore. And then I put it all the way down and I secured these with white zip ties so you can't see them. But it means that the thing can't get all tangled and a million miles down. I did that to everyone in the house. It took a long time. You can see here what it looks like. You know. I'm sure we could spend a ton of money and get them all recut, but we're not going to do that. We got stuff that you can spray on this to frost the glass. And we'll see how that works. And then, there's not much to see in the closet. Except my little hat rack. Right? fun looking in the closet. Okay, come on, man. There's his little bowl for here. Pretty good dog. There's the TV and the Roku box. And there's this whole part of the house we don't really go to. So, you know, going around. Jen's office, nothing in it. The loft, nothing in it. Movie theater room with all the video games right now. Not much in it. That's the deal. Um, oh, the the whole point of this was the cabinet. So let's go back down. Come here, man. Oh, I like to stand at the top of the stairs and throw tennis balls down for him. By the way, this chandelier is a source of controversy because some people love it, some people hate it. I will say this: if you look right here, you'll see it's missing an arm. On the bottom row there, you can kind of see the hole. So, you know, that's bad. Things kind of a mess. We're not big fans of it. 
right down we go. Also, Jen got this chemical acid stuff to clean the grout here. If you look in the early videos, it was black between the lines, but now it's good. All right, man, you ready to go out here? All right, let's go in the garage. Come on. Out he goes. All right, <clears throat> so a couple things. I got a dresser off Craigslist, and it was actually really good wood. It was just this nasty white colored, like, stain. Here, actually, this is the top of it. It's a dresser that converts to a changing table. That was the original color, but I tried to do just a little bit of scratch repair, and I started sanding it off. So I said, you know what, I'll just sand the whole thing off, whatever. So produced a massive pile of sawdust on all that. This is the thing that converts to a changing table. And then here's all of the kitchen cabinets. These are the two for the, for the island, and all these ones are the ones that she just pulled off yesterday. So the plan for these guys is three coats on the inside, let it dry, tip it up on these guys, and then three coats on the outside. Um, drawers will be done obviously much quicker than that. That's the deal. And then here is the workshop, which I've been using like crazy. The arcade is fully working again, thanks to Michael for his TV. The only thing that has to be done now on this is, I don't know if you can see how these guys here are mounted. Um, the thing is screwed into a block, which then sits in a little little thing there. I need to put the TV on the other side of the block because it's, it doesn't have enough clearance here. But after that, I just have to do some work on the controls. It's all done. Works beautifully. So, I think that's everything that needs to be shown. I'm pretty sure that's everything. Roger, can you think of anything else everyone needs to see? He likes to look through. A little bit of a maze in here. Pretty good, man? Oh, I think he's trapped. Yeah. He has a bowl out here, too. He got bowls everywhere. Well, that's pretty much it. I can't think of anything else that needs to be shown. Um, we're going to get a second one of these trash cans and put the recycle sticker on it, but they're like 200 bucks each, so we said, meh, we don't need it right now. And I guess that's it. Say bye. Give me a high five. Can I have a high five? Oh, good boy. All right, bye.